What it do, my baby booze? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey, hi, how are you? What it do? My name is Alyssa, and I am the girl with the plum bob tattoo. Welcome to the channel. So a lot of you guys have been asking me about my mods. Like, it's on so many videos. So I just figured I would get it over with and show you some very major mods. They're script mods and they actually alter like your gameplay experience. I know The Sims 4, if you play it enough, it gets very repetitive. So mods just kind of save the game, in my opinion. Like they just make it so much better. So um, here are 20 mods that I have found to be very useful in my gameplay. So let's get started. So the very first mod that we're gonna be looking into is called Granny's Cookbook. And if you watch my videos, you know that I use this basically for like every recipe that my Sims make. I love Granny's Cookbook so much. It is created by Little Bo Bub. Little Bo Bub actually made desserts, meals, snacks, toddler foods, like a bunch of recipes that you put into your folder along with it. If you guys need any tips or a tutorial on how to install mods and CC, refer to this video in the corner that will let you know how to install script mods. This is my Sim, Sofia Triglioni. Actually, to be honest, she kind of reminds me of Sofia from the Golden Girls. Now that I've been watching it, I'm like, huh, that's where I got that name from. I created her like a year ago, especially to kind of like model the cast items that I've made and stuff. So this is one of the tattoos that I've actually made. I can go ahead and link that in the links below also if you want it. This is based off of a tattoo that I've always wanted and I still haven't gotten. It's just a, a musical garter tattoo. It goes all the way around the leg, but I can't really show you because the game sucks right now. Anyways, she's gonna go ahead and show you guys all of our mods. So this house was actually created by Alexis Ariel. I can go ahead and link her Patreon down below as well. I love all of her builds and I've been using them a lot for my gameplay lately. So she's gonna go into this house and we're going to go ahead and start with our granny cookbook experience. Actually, I wanna show you guys also something else that I found, which is gra granny cookbook recolors. I'll go ahead and link these in the description as well, but let me show you all of the swatches real quick, or at least most of the swatches, <laughs> let's be real. So you can find it under granny's cookbook recolors and it comes with a ton of options. Can't see them very well because it just, it likes to, <laughs> it likes to completely block it out, but you can get all all sorts of things. It actually has like vegan recipes on there, all of these. So it doesn't have to be like, it doesn't have to look like granny's actual cookbook. It can just look like your own little thing. This is the one I have for her, but you can do all sorts of them. And they look so modern and so good. Look at that. Like it just looks like a cooking magazine. It looks amazing. There's also a swatch in here somewhere that is like a blank journal. Yeah, this would be a blank recipe book that you can put your own recipes in. Obviously, it still it still just works the way that Granny's does, but I thought this was an awesome little addition to your cookbook experience. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the joy of cooking and we're gonna get her cooking. So I think her cooking level is kind of small, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and amp it up a little bit. Oh wow, she has no skills. Oh crap, okay. Let's have her make a salad real quick <laughs> just so she doesn't burn the dang kitchen down. All right, so she has the cooking skill. I'm just gonna go ahead and boost this up to level 10, just so you guys can see all of the recipes in the journal. So if we go over to the cookbook, she's gonna just keep making her salad, but you can go to Granny's recipes or snacks. So let's just go to the recipes. There is barbecue, breakfast, desserts, and meals. Barbecue, so these are the options for level 10. Shrimp and mackerel skewers, barbecue ribs, and baked beans, that looks amazing. We also have breakfast, honey banana toast, breakfast cereal, fluff or nutter sandwiches, crumpets, lox bagels, berry Belgian waffles, strawberry pancakes, and chocolate chip pancakes. That sounds just bomb as hell. Desserts. We got a chocolate nest. We got a trifle. We got an espimula, espimila, banana fritters, mud pie, winterfest pudding, mango sticky rice, yule log, birthday cake, peach cobbler, 
angel strawberry cake, cheesecake brownies. Oh God, that sounds so good. Mince pies, pumpkin spice latte cake, baby cakes, black forest got gateau, pineapple upside down cakes, lemon blueberry cake, like just, it's just endless guys. Keep in mind, you have to download these recipes individually. So once you get the mod, you'll just have the, the recipe book until you actually download all of these recipes. So these are the meal options. Is she hungry at all? Eh, she could eat, I suppose, but I think she's more on the snacky side. So let's go over to snack. We have canned soups, marshmallow sticks, fruit and chocolate pot, and an afternoon tea. Oh, that looks really nice. I don't know. Soup is kind of simple. I kind of want to show you something cool. What are the cold drinks? So we got bubble tea, milkshakes, mochas, eggnog, pink grapefruit bubble tea, iced caramel coffee, milkshakes galore, all sorts of stuff. So I think we're just going to go ahead and go over to meals and see if there's anything that's kind of like good for, you know, just a peckish kind of hunger. Ooh, chili garlic dough balls. What? Let's go for the chili garlic dough balls. I'm, I actually, I don't think I've ever made this recipe before. So, all right, actually, to be honest with you, I'm just gonna stop, stop you right here. Cooking is delectable. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you like cooking. That's fine. So I'm gonna put this somewhere. Can I put this in like a trash can? Is there a trash can somewhere around here? Oh, there it is. Wait, does it not work? I can't actually drag it. That's dumb. We'll just put it right here for now. <laughs> I'll have her move it later. So she's gonna go ahead and grab all of her ingredients to make the dough balls. And I, I'm, I'm sure she's gonna start like, you know, working a dough and everything. So she's cutting up some tomatoes, adding her spices. Yes, just like the salt guy. <laughs> I knew it. She's gonna work her dough. Oh, wish I was as talented as, as this when it comes to cooking. I am, I've made homemade pizza before, but I am not courageous enough to throw the dough around on my fingers. All right, so she's gonna throw that in the oven and I cannot wait to see what it ends up looking like. I love their recipes just because, first of all, they look absolutely delicious when they come out. And second of all, they look so unique to the game too. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just the fact that The Sims 4 food is just kind of like played out, you know? But like all of her food comes in custom dishes and it just looks amazing. Oh, and look, and they always look different when you put it in a bowl or a, on a plate. It looks so good. It looks so good. So she's just gonna go ahead and enjoy her snack. The second mod that I wanted to show you guys is called Choose High School Classmates. So this one obviously came out with the High School Years expansion pack. Basically, this mod just allows you to choose your classmates. I know a lot of people ended up making their own like classmate sims before the pack came out and then they were kind of sad to see that none of the sims they made actually made the cut into the high schools. This mod allows you to choose your high school classmates and I'll show you how all that works in my game. For the sake of demonstrative purposes, I temporarily aged um, Sophia down to a teen so I can show you how to properly choose your classmates because I struggled with this for a minute. I didn't read all of the directions properly and it made me suffer when I was trying to uh, play high school years in my runaway teenage pregnancy challenge. So this is how you properly do it. So you go to your mailbox, right? And you go to choose high school classmates. So let's go ahead and do that. Listen to me. All right. You have have to choose the school meanie, choose cheer members, choose chess members, choose the esports members, and choose your football members. You have to before you choose your high school classmates. Go ahead and assign people to these. And then for the leftover classmates that you want to see, go to the choose high school classmates. Do these first and then choose your high school classmates. It'll take you to, you know, obviously the high school, high schoolers in your game. For some reason, Reason, only Wolfgang Munch shows up when it comes to the meanie at least in my game it's always the same but for the cheer members like you get way more options with the other classmate options choose your chess members and all of the club members before you choose your classmates and then it should work for you pretty well all right all right on to the next mod the third mod I wanted to show you guys is actually an interesting one I just came across this like not too long ago it's called ring custom Customers up at the register and it's pretty dang simple. It was created by C. Lineley? 
slimely, climbly. Yeah, I probably butchered it. I'm sorry. But it's basically a mod that has people come to you at the register and you as the owner of the um, store can ring them up. And even if you're just a regular patron at the store, you will actually see NPC customer sims lining up at the register. So this is what it looks like. It just makes it more realistic, you know? I actually wanted to show you this fourth mod that is part of the list here that um, has customers carrying bags as they check out at the register. So it's kind of interesting. Like it really looks like they have a shopping bag and they walked away from the register with their bag. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, when you talk about mods that really change your gameplay experience, the urban social mod is that bish. Okay. Like she is an icon. She is the moment. This will add urban interactions that actually affect your Sims mood and gives them moodlets depending on what happened here. So I can't actually click on these pictures, so I can't expand them. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, but you get all sorts of moodlets. Look how many you get. And then you also get like a trait. Oh no, you get a few traits. You get bum, baby kid, barb, <laughs> the trap house, slot trait. Like you get all these kinds of traits. So I thought that was really interesting. And I, I just love, I just love, I just love playing with this. It's It actually works out really well in a lot of my gameplay and you know how I love storylines. So this really just like, it goes with the storylines so well. So Via is just outside paying her bills when she came across this sim and I want her to get acquainted with him just so we can start using some urban social mod socials so you know that the socials are her mod when you see a triangle to the left of each social so let's just go over to the friendly category we can ask about political stands ask about church services ask about buying food stamps going to the strip club ask how things are in the hood or where the weed at and then if you go over to mean, we also have like a ton of mean things. So, so, so many interactions. And they're all so funny. I mean, most of them are kind of funny. So joke about Orion's stiff weave. We also have tons of romantic interactions too. So let's try an interaction and see if we can get some kind of moodlet from it. Let's try being mean. <laughs> Ask Orion, do they have Sim Donald's money? Explain that you don't give a fark. Go ahead and explain to him. Say, I really don't care what you have to say to me. I don't think that you're all that anyways. <laughs> I've never been a sim to be pressed about anything or anyone, so I'm definitely not about to start now. You think thought I would be mad, but the truth is I could care farking less. If you're not feeding, financing, or farking me, why should I care? Tons and tons of things, and that's just one of the interactions and moodlets that you can get from this. So he's not liking me at all. <laughs> but does she give a fark? No, she does not. Look at her face. Oh yeah. So the sixth mod I wanted to tell you about was actually movie override. Right now I have the cartoon override mod pulled up on my computer, but there are tons tons and tons and tons of movie and show overrides, but you have like cartoons for, for this particular one. But yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> if you're getting sick of all of The Sims 3 pre-recorded movies and stuff that the game has had since 2014, this is definitely something to think about getting. With that in mind, let's go ahead and watch a movie, shall we? So let's go over to the TV and go to our movies here. So I I want to actually stop talking to Orion. She, what is going on here? Um, no. We're gonna watch, ooh, okay. So we have Friday the 13th, Dirty Dancing, Dawn of the Dead, Nightmare on Elm Street, Peter Pan, Halloween, Home Alone. Let's go ahead and watch Scooby-Doo. Hell yeah, do it. Especially while you're eating your little, your little, your little balls. She put her balls in her mailbox. <laughs> All right, so as we can see, we are watching some scurby deer. Heck yeah. This is the best one in my opinion, by the way. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I love the live action Scooby-Doo. So yeah, that is the, the new movies, or I mean like, you know, watching custom movies. I think it helps your gameplay immersion just a little bit more, like especially if you're doing some realism, like, I don't know, some movies that you can actually identify with. So she's just enjoying herself watching a little scurby-deer. 
Really? That's nice. Now, you will either love or hate this one. Sometimes I absolutely love it. Sometimes it drives me nuts. But this mod is called Give Me Some Talent. So right away after you create your sim, you will be loaded up into the world with some talents or some extreme failures of talent. So this mod just automatically assigns you with talents or things that you can be really bad at. Like they can be bad at the mental skill, all kinds of skills that they can be either amazing at or terrible at. Which child skill influence influences which adult skill when decide, okay, so creativity will go into all of these things, mental will go into these, motor into these, and social into these. So like as you raise your child, they will become good or bad at things depending on their childhood. So it's really incorporated into your gameplay and it really depends on how you play with your sims how they will end up knowing some things, you know, or being good or bad at things. This one's a little smaller, but expanding on some of the interaction aspects of the game, this is really nice because it just adds a little bit more of an interaction. So this is a little on the darker side. It's Storytelling Social's Dark Add-on Volume 8. There are two versions of this mod. The first is the normal version. The second is the normal version with reduced autonomy. Why did I even bother putting normal in front of version if they're both the normal version? Well, it's because there was originally an add-on to it and the initial name of the mod was just more interactions, sectioned often into two parts, light part and dark part. This is the dark part. Storytelling Social's dark add-on is an add-on to Storytelling Social's that adds eight interactions for darker storylines. They are as follows. Neg, call abusive. Romantic partner, call abusive to your parent. Gaslight, you can do that with either your romantic partner or your child. Threaten to harm yourself if partner leaves. Call a disappointment to your child or call your child unwanted. So it adds quite a bit to it. And now that I'm like reading it, I was wondering why I couldn't find it in my game. And that is probably because it was an add-on to storytelling socials right here. So you can call someone a freeloader. You can check on them. You can express compassion, pressure to succeed, lecture about life choices, insult work performance, insult children and beg pathetically to be taken back so I'm actually gonna click on this and download that part so you can you can like tell people all sorts of like mean things <laughs> we're gonna do reduced autonomy because I don't want my sims ruining their relationships with each other for no reason so yeah I will link this and I will also link to the darker one as well so the next mod I have for you is by Kiera Sims and this is just school activities so so you can actually select some after school activities for children and teens and you can download them individually as well. So that's awesome. And they're like actual events, you know. So we have ballet, basketball, cheerleader club, debate club, karate, little league, marching band, martial arts, a soccer team, volleyball and yearbook club. That adds a lot more to your high school gaming experience, in my opinion, for people who just want to play like with normal family gameplay. I think it helps a lot. So yeah, this next mod is something that everybody needs in their game. Everybody who can mod should get this mod. This is the childbirth mod by Panda Sama. And if you haven't seen this yet, this gives you realistic animations. I'm not going to be showing it in my gameplay, but you get realistic animations for when your Sims give birth. I've actually played with this a couple times on my channel before I think once in the history legacy and I only did like a little machinima of it in my runaway teen pregnancy challenge as well so she actually updated the mod and uh, gave you a few more animations and interactions so you can even rock with your partner now how amazing is this you get all the options to to give birth in like a I think you can do like a, a pool now you can do like at home births in a, in a birthing pool you can do at the hospital in like a regular, you know, the old fashioned way kind of um, way of giving birth. You can also get a C-section. You can exercise on this little ball. You can even get a new massage now. How cute is this? This is so cute. You can even get epidurals, y'all. She also added something new. I'm I'm about to be re-downloading this. So she gave you a new thing where you can take a pregnancy test and it gives you an animation based on if they are pregnant or not. So if she is pregnant, she's going to have like this whole 
animation. You can even take a bath or shower to induce labor. If you have not heard about this mod yet, obviously I'm gonna go ahead and link it to you. It is amazing. It is so in depth and there's just so much to it. She even has language translations. Like how amazing is that? And it's just one little zip folder download. So it's definitely, definitely worth the time to put this into your game. So definitely go ahead and grab the childbirth mod by Pandasama. So this 11th mod that I have for you guys is something that comes up in my gameplay all the time. Every time your sim meets a new sim, you get a first impression on them. So it's actually very in depth. I, I very much suggest that you go ahead and read everything to do with it because there is a lot that goes into it. This creator put a ton and a ton of work in it. So go ahead and check it out. The first impressions mod. So when we talked to Orion, we did get a first impression earlier. Basically, he has a first impression of her and we have a first impression of him. But her first impression of him is that he's emotionally expressive. Now and then it's nice to meet someone who is not afraid to share how they really feel about things. And his first impression about her is that she's a nature maniac. It's actually a sentiment of dislike. He says, ah, one of these tree hugging, broccoli eating, beach walking. The Sims that think it's their duty to criticize others, every life choices because they're less green than their own or less healthy, be that true or not. So as you can see, they already have their own like ideas of who each other are just on that one little interaction they had earlier that day. It's nuts. I love this so much because it can really like, what if she got like a crush on him? What if she found him very attractive and like started a crush that could have sparked a whole other like side storyline for this sim. So I, I think it's really, really awesome to have this as part of your gameplay. Now, when you go to download the first impressions mod, it's going to take you to this place where there are tons and tons of other mods. So Lumpinu, Lumpinu, <laughs> Lumpinu, Lumpinu puts all of their mods on Patreon in one spot. So this is amazing because there are tons and tons of things that you can go ahead and look into. There's the LGBTQA plus mod, talents and weaknesses, custom moods, first impressions, no chatter and clutter, mood pack, open love life, relationship and pregnancy overhaul, no strings attached, road to romance, psychic sims. This one was like really interesting to me. Rambunctious religions. I actually have this for um, a medieval gameplay that I'm doing for personal gameplay. And then they have contextual social interactions as well. And that is very, I highly recommend the contextual social interactions. It's something that will give you interactions based solely on what is going on in your sims life. So I think that's really interesting too. So go ahead and check out all of their mods on this index of mods page. The next mod I have for you is SN Bank. What this mod intends to do ultimately is create an extensive financial slash banking system similar to what us humans have in real life. With their final feature added, they hope to add slash boost storylines in the game or even play out any financial situations that are limited only to your imagination. So this is a bank mod. I think it also comes with um, a bank that you can go ahead and download to get started. Otherwise, you can always use their build by objects to create your own bank as well. Definitely give it a try. Sophie is not going to go to the bank because I honestly don't have time for any of that, but you can easily access your account from your phone. If you go over to, I'm pretty sure just the home button here, you can go over to the Sim National Bank right on the list here. Let's go ahead and click on it and you can just go ahead and open up a main account from your phone. So go ahead and open a main account, but you also have to go ahead and do a minimum deposit of $20. So you can also do some career direct deposit right into your account, or you could just go ahead and make your little deposit. You can withdraw or send money to another Sim. So let's go ahead and deposit. So she's going to go ahead and put $500 in her account right away. Press OK. So now her main account has five. Oh, OK. So it already had 20 to simoleons. So she has now 520 simoleons. She could easily go ahead and deposit money or withdraw money. Let's grab that $20 that we put in earlier. So let's go ahead and withdraw. So now I have 20 more dollars. You want to send some money. This is really cool. OK, so you can transfer it from your main account that has $500. You can choose how much you want to send. So let's say five simoleons. She wants to send five to, well, we'll say this girl because she has a better <laughs> relationship. 
zip to her than than Orion does. And we're gonna go ahead and immediately transfer this money. So you can see that the $5 was taken out of the account and it says money sent. Sofia Triglioni sent five simoleons from their main account to the main account of Aicha Itch Ikmawan. So yeah, the sim automatically got the money banking summary. And then, and then afterwards we'll have a banking summary of how much we have left over. It's just really cool, especially if you have multiple sims in your household and you want them to have their own amount of money put away, you know? Now this mod is a must if you have elders in your family and you want to get some life insurance for them. This is the insurance company life insurance mod by Nikki Clem one. It's very straight up. You just get, you can apply for life insurance on the computer. They'll call you from the insurance company and you can go ahead and pay how you want to pay. You can also add family members, pay it in full. You'll get moodlets for it and get all sorts of interactions for it as well. And then I'm thinking you, you get the money, right? If the person dies. So death of a loved one, lost in the family, grandparent, lost in the family, parent, you can only make one claim per household. So that means that some Sims may not get a chance to make a claim. So basically you can claim for the life insurance once the Sim dies. It'll take 24 hours, 12 hours to accept it. And then settlement department, 12 hours payout is two days. So basically you can get some life insurance money for a family member, a close family member passing away. And that is actually pretty accurate to how real life life works. So I highly recommend that you use this if you play family gameplay. Now this mod is so needed for the high school years expansion pack. This is the social bunny overhaul. So I, I know that the social bunny statuses and posts actually get pretty dang repetitive. So I thought this was amazing. Marlin Sims created a whole overhaul with different um, post interactions and things of the sort. So if if you're getting sick of the social bunny posts that come with the expansion pack, definitely go ahead and grab this. It is now public. This was private for 15 days, but it is public now. So you can go ahead and get yourself a social bunny overhaul for free. And who doesn't like free? Am I right or am I right? I think this is honestly my favorite modder for the entire game. Sacrificial is a genius when it comes to his mods. Of course, I use his mods all the time when I play the uh, Apocalypse series. Series. And this particular mod is amazing because it adds burglars, it adds kidnappings, drama, 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 honey. This is where you go to get the drama. So there's Jason Voorhees for crying out loud. Like there's just so much. There's bullying, armed robberies, there's car accidents. This just adds so much to your game and you can turn it on and off for your individual save files, for individual sims. Like if you don't want one of your sims to get like kidnapped or murdered, you can opt out in the settings and everything. It's really, really handy to have for just creating that drama, that zeus, that juice, you know? <laughs> so go ahead and get yourself the Life Tragedies mod, especially if you want like burglars and stuff in your game. Go ahead and portray like a bad neighborhood or whatever. This is the mod for you. This mod is awesome when it comes to homeless sims. If you're playing like the Rags to Riches challenge, this mod lets you beg for money. So you grab this object and build by and then you're able to beg for money or pretend to be an alcoholic and you end up like waving a bottle around. But um, this is super, super handy for the immersion of begging for money. I tried to do it with Tasha in my um, runaway teen pregnancy challenge and it honestly didn't work out. She didn't get any money, but then some other Sims started using the mat and they got money and I was a little upset. <laughs> but anyways, this is awesome for immersing yourself in in a situation where your sim is desperate and needs some Monday honey, like right now, you know? So this is definitely something you wanna think about getting if you're playing like rags to riches. So this mod is a small one, but it is a good one. If your sim cheats, there are only so many things you can do. Like you can get your mistress or, you know, mister <laughs> partner to try to convince you to leave your, your spouse in the, in the regular game. But in this one, you can go ahead and confess 
to cheating. And then there will be some sentiments and some moodlets and it will just sort of put a strain on your relationship from then on. And it actually just adds so much realism. Like if you want your sim partner to know that you cheated for that little extra bit of Zeus, <laughs> you know, definitely go ahead and get this mod. This, I mean, it's tiny. It's a tiny mod, but it does, it does a lot in the effect of gameplay. Well, cheating gameplay, cheater gameplay. So this is Kawaii Stacy's Explore mod. I think it was re-uploaded because it might have broken or something. It is a rabbit hole mod, but this is just a little extra experience that your sim can go through. You can go ahead and travel with it. You can go gambling. You can go to classes to improve your skills. You can go on vacations, get some services, some entertainment and never end up leaving your own lot, but your sim will have those experiences under their belt. And it's just a few more things that your sims can do that will improve their quality of simulation life. Now, if your sims are living off of the grid or like just any kind of situation where they need to go forage a lot, this is amazing. This would especially be helpful in like historical gameplay where you want to forage, but you don't want to like go through like all the modern kind of objects in order to do that. So this is the foraging mod. You end up getting like a bush. There are plants and override plant files that you end up just like looking through, sifting through, and it will give you your whatever you desire, like something to forage. It'll also give you some moodlets. So you won't just be like foraging and like, you know, something just pops up in your inventory. You'll actually get some moodlets and all of the foraging won't actually like work for you. You know, <laughs> like it won't work 100% of the time and you can get some bad like negative moodlets as well as the positive. So it's really realistic in the sense that it won't give you what you want every single time. And it also, I love, love, love mods that add moodlets. It's just, it just adds a whole other dy dynamic to your Sims life. This mod is an oldie, but a goodie. This is amazing. I use this every time I throw an event and basically it's just the more guests and the longer parties mod by Weaver Sue. We, we're, we're Bay Sue, we're Bay Sue. I'm sorry I keep butching these people's screen handles, but I can't help it. Anyway, so this basically gives you the option to invite more guests. I think the cap is like, what, 200 guests or something like that. I think you can actually, maybe you can download different files with different, different caps. So you can get this cap remover in the, in the file downloads that will actually make it so you can invite more than 20 Sims to an event. And you can also invite Sims that you've never actually met. So if you're throwing a birthday party or a wedding and you actually haven't met the other person, like your spouse to be's family and you want them there, you can actually start including them. And I use this every, every time I throw an event in my game. Like it's just so helpful to be able to, you know, throw in those storylines and have the people that I want there. Even if the person who's making the plans hasn't actually met the sim that I plan on inviting. It's just really, really helpful in the long run. And I kind of wish that EA would just make this a thing because it's just very helpful. You know? All right, you guys. Well, that is going to be it for me and Sophia today. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please let me know if it helped you or if you are going to go download any of these mods. I'd really love to hear your thoughts. So subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell to see whenever I post. I post tons of LPs and every once in a while I drop little uh, gems like this one where I show you where to get some of the mods that I I use. Anyways, y'all, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, loves. Mwah.